In this episode, you're going to learn how morning training sets a positive daily tone, how evening runs challenge meal timing and digestion and what to do about it, how morning runs benefit mental and physical health, why evening training may disrupt sleep and recovery, and a bunch more. Let's get it in. So you've heard from me, you've heard from Darren. Now we've got a judge for this season. Wait, I'm sorry, what was your name? My name is Laura Green. Um, I just happened to run into her and... In my house. <laughs> Inside my house. Isn't that wild? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, it happens like that. Um, but to just make the final call here. Laura, it's this or that. Okay. Morning or evening, you tell us. What is the best time to train? Absolutely, hands down, morning is the best time to train. And here are my reasons. Okay. Okay. First off, uh, nothing has kind of like bothered you yet that day. I will say though that sometimes fuels the evening run and it feels real good to let off some steam. But it's more of like a meditative practice to get up and it starts your day off right. All the things that you hear from influencers, you know, it's like start your day off on the right foot movement. Um, this is like kind of a silly thing, but you know how you're, there's a set amount of time you're supposed to go before having your first cup of coffee? Sure, if I, I like that all the if time. If I don't work out, it's like straight to my veins the first 10 <laughs> minutes that I'm sure. awake. But I feel like that that run helps kind of create a buffer. Um, I, but the biggest thing for me, other than like feeling accomplished and just having it done with for the day is... I didn't eat anything yet. Or if I did, I had like a bar, banana, or graham crackers. But like when I run anytime after, Go, the we're afternoon, going there. We're going there. What do like what do people do? They have a whole stomach of food that they have ingested that day. How do they plan that? And that is the crux, right? So <laughs> Coaching cross country, the afternoons, like my lunchtime has to be so yes. carefully crafted. Uh -huh. If I don't eat by noon, then I'm just not eating. Yeah. If I can't be running at three in the afternoon really? with a full bed, like absolutely I mean, not. I did that for years. How did we do it when we were younger? Like I, like through high school and college, some of our, high, our college track workouts were at 8 p.m. because we worked out at the Reggie Lewis Center, and yeah. so it was just when our track was available. 8 p.m. When do you even eat dinner? It was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. And also, when I come back from a run in the evening, it takes me a really long time to wind down. So if I were like to get in, yes, it feels great physically. Like you just sweat out a day, you know, you got some movement in, but then I'm amped to keep the night going. There it is. My system has been primed. Yes. I'm also wired up, right? Yes. What do I do with this energy? Yeah. I am too old for nightclubs. I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. So hands down morning. And that's also though why if it doesn't happen in the morning, it doesn't happen at all. And I'm okay with that. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it. So there you have it. Morning's done. If you want to learn more about this topic, we went into further detail. You should go and check that out right here.